Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in Web Analytics, we will discuss a very important chapter called as e-commerce analytics. E-commerce is big, e-commerce is huge, e-commerce has swept the world across and e-commerce is something is here to stay and e-commerce is going to grow bigger and bigger. Now what basically we are going to discuss today is how you can use leverage the power of web analytics in an e-commerce website to drive more and more traffic leading to more and more leads driving to more and more conversions. Let's check them on some of the chapters here. What is basically e-commerce analytics? Analytics is an integral part of an e-commerce website that is the primary point. Without having web analytics or perhaps even social media analytics, you can never think of having an e-commerce website. Analyze purchase activity on website and app. Each and every activity of the users who come to an e-commerce website, whether on the website or on the mobile app, have to be analyzed. The purchasing activity. Every activity starting from the anonymous user who comes to the e-commerce website, the pages or the products that are viewed, whether the user has clicked on any particular product and gone to the shopping cart, whether products have been added into the shopping cart, whether the users have clicked on the checkout page, payment page, payment made or not, what are the issues, concerns and journey through right through the starting process from the products page to the checkout page. The entire process have to be tracked as far as the purchase activity is concerned and this is possible only through the web analytics. Products, transactions and conversions are the key, key elements of an e-commerce website. Display of products, the transaction that takes place and of course the conversion that happens that is acquiring a customer. Analyze data to take informed decisions. Each and every activity of the user on an e-commerce portal or an e-commerce website has to be analyzed to take informed decisions. What is the issues, what are the concerns, what are the challenges that may exist if any on an e-commerce website, why people are dropping out on the shopping cart, why payment is not happening, why people click on the product, they go add it to the shopping cart and they abandon the shopping cart. Each and every aspect have to be analyzed threadbare to make sure you take informed decisions leading to more and more conversion. And these are some of the key elements of web analytics in an e-commerce website. How actually the reporting system works? Real time happening on the real time. The real time analytics is something that you can actually watch through, analyze through in the web analytics to make sure how many people are floating on the e-commerce website right now in real time and what, why people are dropping some of them in the middle and why people are some of adding into the shopping cart and dropping out from there. Each and everything can be analyzed in real time. Audience, how is it on the website? Audience tracking is extremely important. Right from the start of the page, the home page or the products page where the products are listed, some of the hot happening products, some of the products that are listed in actually offering some discounts. All these have to be analyzed threadbare. Equation how visitors found you. The source of the website, whether you are doing some organic traffic generation, whether you are doing some paid campaigns, whether the traffic is coming from the referral sites, whether traffic is coming from some blogs, the social media, each and every part of the source of the traffic has to be identified so that you can actually go about taking informed decisions. Conversions about sales and conversions. When a conversion happens, it is about the sales, it is about acquiring the customers. How many people are acquired, how much sales is happening, what are the goals that you have set for the conversion, whether you have reached the goals or not, everything can be analyzed in the web analytics. This is basically the reporting system of the web analytics. Now let's check out the screenshot of the audience report. What you have right now is total number of sessions, the users, the page views, the page sessions and what is the bounce rate, how many people have actually bounced out right from the first page without actually walking through the internal pages of the website. 
what is the average session duration and new sessions the entire information can be seen here you have the new visitor and the returning visitor how many people have actually come for the first time and who are the returning visitors this can be analyzed and here you have the graph of the particular day how the traffic has flowed from the previous day to this day the entire information this is available in the audience report perhaps in dashboard of the analytics now you have the acquisition report here there are three three elements one is acquisition the behavior and the conversion the source of the traffic how the people are walking through the various pages of the website and whether the conversion has happened or not these are the three key elements here now what you have here is the top channels the source of the traffic how many people have come from the social media how many people directly came the referrals the organic search the email and the display advertising that is the paid advertising these are the various sources shown in the map the top channels of acquisition the source of the traffic now here you have the sessions this is the source of the traffic here you have the sessions and here you have the acquisition the behavior and the go conversions how people are behaving here based on the stop channels here the social you have direct you have referral you have organic you have email and you have paid campaigns from these sources the acquisition is happening here how many acquisitions here you have the behavioral pattern of the users on the website the floating how many pages are being viewed and here you have the conversion entire information can be captured based on the acquisition reports here now we have the behavioral reports in the behavioral reports you have basically the an overview of the complete information that is the page views unique page views average time spent on the site the bounce rate and what is the exit percentage that is in a nutshell here now here you have the what are the pages that are being viewed and the page sessions in the percentage here what are the various products page that are being viewed here the complete information here it means these are the most viewed pages there could be some other pages that are not viewed so that you can take informed decisions based on the pattern of user behavior now here we have the conversions and the e-commerce rep reports here you have the percentage here of the conversion rate what is actually the percentage that is happening here and what is the revenue generated the average revenue generated and the unique page views here you have actually the complete information of the pages viewed here the quantity and the quantity percentage the complete overview of the information is here in terms of the revenue generated from the e-commerce portal in conclusion what we have seen in this video is what is e-commerce analytics reporting system audience report the acquisition report the behavior reports and of course the conversion and e-commerce reports thank you so much for watching hope to see you again